having a great day. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to share a haul with you of the items I've purchased at Dollar Tree lately. A few of the items are from the back to school section, but most of the items are for fall. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing in this video. Let's get started. So the first item I'm sharing in this video, I purchased in the back to school section and it's this little desk organizer set. And there are five pieces inside the inner lock. You can kind of change the configuration of them. I'll just show you real quick the sizes. So you can change them up, they come apart and they also interlock with each other. And I think these would be great for a desk drawer. That's what I purchased them for because I'm working on redoing my desk space. But they would also be great in a bathroom drawer for organizing maybe your cosmetics or a junk drawer or even out in the garage. And they had several colors and I just thought these were a great find for a dollar. The next item I picked up are these storage containers, also in the back to school section. They have a lid that has a little lock on it. I think they're a really great size and I think these would be great for organizing different smaller craft projects or the leftover vinyl from cutting out projects with my silhouette or if you have a Cricut and just a lot of different uses for something like this. So I picked up two of these to have on hand. The next item I picked up is a container and it's this basket with handles and I actually picked up two of these. Love the color and I think there's a lot of uses for something like this and I think it's a really great find for a dollar. And the next container that I picked up is this large rectangular basket. It's also in the pretty mint green color and I picked up one of these. And switching gears, they had the 2022 calendars out at my local store. They'd already been picked over pretty well, but I was able to find two. This one says thankful, grateful, and blessed with the mason jar design with the faux barnwood background. And I really like some of the designs in this one. And then I was also able to find the one with the truck. And they only had one of these, or I definitely would have picked up more, but I'm really glad I was at least able to find one. Moving on to the fall items, I purchased several different signs, so I'll show those next. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I just really like the design of this one and I think this would be really pretty next to a coffee bar. So I purchased one of these. The next sign I purchased was this pumpkin shaped sign that has pumpkin design. It says happy harvest and thankful with a little metal leaf attached. And I just thought this one was really pretty. And this one's probably my favorite this year so far. It says thankful and blessed with the black and white check background and some pumpkins. And I just thought this one was really pretty and I wish I would have picked up a couple more of these. The next sign that I purchased says farm fresh fall. It has the red truck design with pumpkins in the back. And I thought this was a really fun one and I picked up two of these. And another sign that I really liked has the black and white checked background. It says home sweet home and has sunflowers. And I just thought this one was really pretty and I picked up two of these. And the next sign that I picked up is this taller welcome sign. The welcome letters are in a dark glitter. And I just thought this one was really pretty for fall. And moving on to the smaller signs, I picked up one of these, it says pumpkin spice and everything nice and I just really liked the design of this one and I kind of wish I would have got a few more of these so I may have to run back to the store and see if they still have any. The next signs I picked up are the same sign but I got two different styles. This one says welcome fall with the black and white checked background and this one says happy fall with a leaf design in the center in a plaid background and they have a real wood frame they have a hanger on the back and these are just a really great find for a dollar they make great craft projects but i think they're really pretty as is and i got two of these and one of this one the next item I picked up is this pumpkin shaped wreath form. I thought it was such a great size and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I picked up one of these. 
and they had some really pretty fall florals in at my local Dollar Tree. I picked up a few different ones to have on hand. I probably should have grabbed a lot more because those tend to sell out really quickly at my local store. So that's something else I need to put on my list as well. Something else I picked up are these straw bales. I picked up two of these. I wish I'd have got a third, but I think these would be a lot of fun to decorate with some miniature pumpkins around them. Or I have a red metal truck that I can put items in the back of it to decorate for the different seasons. So I think these are gonna be a lot of fun in that truck with some pumpkins and leaves. So I'm excited to decorate with these for fall. And speaking of pumpkins, I picked up two bags of these pumpkin picks. I really like the color of these, and I think these will be a lot of fun for wreaths or in floral arrangements and all of that. But I think these are really pretty for a dollar, and you get four in a package. The next item I picked up is this black and white checked pumpkin. I just thought it was really pretty. Definitely goes with my decor. I wish they would have had more of this color. They also had a bright blue and orange in the same check design, but I picked up one of these. They also had several of the velvet covered pumpkins with the golden stem, and I picked up two of the teal color two of the blue and two of the pink. And I think they also had a really pretty plum color as well as a gray. And I think these just look really high end, especially for a dollar. The next pumpkin I picked up is this white one. I believe it's ceramic. It has a nice weight to it, has a gold stem and has a pretty leaf design. The next pumpkin I picked up is this really pretty ceramic pumpkin in this pretty shade of blue. And I picked up one of these. It was the only one that they had in this color, but they did have other colors as well. And the last pumpkin I picked up is this one with the monogram on the front. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's hard to find the letters you're looking for. And since they had it, I went ahead and picked it up. And I think this will be a fun little piece to tuck into a bookshelf. For the ribbon, they had a lot Lot of pretty options. I picked up one of the fall leaf design. It has a metallic edge and it's two and a half inches wide by nine feet long and I thought this was a really pretty ribbon for fall. And then I also found some of the red truck ribbon which I was really excited about. The same size, same metallic edging on this ribbon and if you've seen ribbon like this in craft stores then you know those kind of ribbons are at a much higher price point than what you find at Dollar Tree. And then I also picked up this ribbon. It's a wider ribbon. It's three and a half inches wide with a gold metallic edge. It's also wired ribbon, has kind of a burlap looking background with a pumpkin design. And I thought this one was really pretty as well. And they only had one of this one or I would have picked up more. And last but not least, not really fall related, but I found these in the stickers section. These are label stickers, and it has everything from coffee to dog treats to paper goods to nuts and bolts, spices, onions, veggies, fruit, crackers, all of that sort of thing. And I think these are a really great find for a dollar, especially if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette, don't really have a way to make your own labels or just don't like your own handwriting. I think these are a really great find for a dollar. And then I also found some really pretty farmhouse style stickers with the vintage truck and some black and white gingham. And this one has cows and a milk can and some roses. And I just think these are a really great buy for a dollar. So I think that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I think they have a lot of great items this time of year and I'm still keeping my eye out for a few items that I saw on their website and hoping that my local stores get them in stock. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.